I've been living for two decades now, and this is my resting place. It feels like living in a dungeon surrounded by a stinking trolls, and it was really unpleasant to sleep in it. And that makes me thinking if I can overhaul it to make it a cozy place where I can take a break from this tiresome world. It started last May when summer is still there. I've started clearing out my things and remove it away from my room. My phone's broke so I don't have the chance to film. But fortunately, I had captured some photos of it. The first thing we did is fixing my ceiling. And then, along with my dog Ricky, we put some new floorings and removed my old windows installing new ones. Fixing my room, I just realized that at this moment, I just transformed a prison-like room into a relaxing place. And now that I got my new phone, I can now film all the remaining things to do. And now, this is my room. All I need to do now is to put my things in it and put some decorations to make it more pleasing in the eyes. I really like collecting books and I really love reading them so in this part I'll be mounting a floating bookshelves in here so that I can put my books. My friend Jolo started drilling holes on the wall for the metal rocks that will be mounted on the wall later on. We'll be making 4 layers of shelves for my books. While Jolo doing his work, my other friend Florence did the sweeping on the walls. Both of them are really a great companion and friends to me. They are always there if I needed some helping hand. Now that every metal rocks are mounted on the walls, we are going to put my books and make it looks like they are floating. Since I was a child, every time my mom goes to town, she always bring home a book for me to read. And that's the reason I love collecting books and reading them. Even as I get older and things we do the most changes as time goes by, books will always have a part in my heart that I will never read of, and I will always treasure them in my lifetime. It's really nice to have some collection of books, especially if you have a nice wonderful memories with them, that every time you see them, you'll just smile, as you remember the time that you have an imaginative and adventurous journey, even just by reading them. And now we're going to put my bed that I made, and this bed is made up of stuff plywood pasted together, that can be pulled apart if you want to move it and put together again you want to fix it. The design of the bed that I made is inspired by Chris Salomon, a great woodworker. His works are impressive and really inspiring. When I started doing woodworks, his channel is the one that I'm watching and now that I can say I'm good in woodworks 
because of them who motivated me to create some good stops. And I created all the things related to work works inside this room that we're going to put inside later on. Now that the base is set, we're going to put the upper layer of the bed now. And Florence just got entertained us with her beautiful voice. For the last part of the bed, we're going to put the platform on its side. Afterwards, we're going to hang the curtain. I choose the darker shade of grey on the both sides and the lighter shades of grey at the center because it really makes the room feel calm and relaxing. Then, we continue putting the mattress of the bed. Putting the bed sheet of it really take us time to fix it because the mattress is heavy. And fixing this every time I wake up in the morning is my day-to-day -day struggle. And then, putting my desk table beside my bed. And then, my own version of floating table under my floating bookshelves. And everything is set now and we're going to continue setting up my bed, putting up my blankets and my comforter. Setting up my bed is really annoying and it takes time. And until now, I didn't figure out how to fix it easily. And Jolo keeps on laughing while he's recording me. And finally, my room is done. I can sleep well and relax now. As I'm lying in my bed, I saw this beautiful scenery I made and it really makes me even more relaxed. Then suddenly, I saw this part of my room. It's nice but plain. And I thought for a while, what if I paint it too? As I'm planning for what am I going to paint, we went for a walk with my dogs. Walking with them helps me refresh my mind and helps me think well for my decisions. And that makes them my best pals. As we were winding up in the swamp, I finally decided to paint the Great Wave of Kanagawa. It was a famous Japanese trademark printed centuries ago. I had a little background about it. But I know it has a great history and bark in our history. So before we go home, I let my dogs enjoy playing around the swamp for a while. And now we're finally home. So I called my friends asking them if they can help me paint my room because working in a group makes the job easier and faster than working alone.
I let them coat the wall with white paint before painting the artwork. And for a moment, we are now going to put the artwork into life. Now, here it is, the great wave of Kanagawa, right in front of my eyes, mesmerizing me as I wake up in the morning. It felt like I'm in a different dimension, full of dreams, actions, and satisfaction. I'm so happy that I made something a place I can call a paradise. Maybe some of you may have different perspective of a paradise, but for me, this is the kind of place that I have ever wanted before. This is not just a room, nor just a renovation. This is a tale for a lifetime. <laughs>